Hi, I'm Miriam. I'm one of the nurses in the unit. I need to insert a feeding tube through your nose into your stomach so you can start having liquid feeds. The tube will stay in place until your swallow reflex returns and it's safe for you to eat and drink normally again. I'll explain the procedure step by step with you so you know what to expect. Is that okay with you? Yes. I was told I'd have to have the tube put in. I've had difficulty swallowing and haven't been able to take in any food or drink through my mouth. Before I start, I'm just going to clean my hands with alcohol hand rub. Okay. I'll be feeding a narrow tube through your nose into your stomach. The tube will stay in place until your swallow reflex returns and it's safe for you to eat and drink normally again. Before I insert the tube, I'll measure the length of the tube that I need to insert. I do this by measuring the distance from the tip of your nose to your earlobe and adding the distance from your earlobe to the bottom of your breastbone. Then I'll add between 5 and 10 centimeters. Finally, I'll take note of the measurement mark on the tube so I know how far to insert the tube. Okay. I appreciate that while it's not a painful procedure, it can be unpleasant. So if you want me to stop at any time, just raise your hand and I'll stop so you can have a break. Thank you. I'll just get all the equipment I need organized and ready to use. I have a nasogastric tube with markings on the side, some warm water, a 60 ml enteral syringe, pH indicator strips, sticky dressing tape and a vomit bowl, in case you feel sick. After I've set up, I'll put on a plastic apron and some non-sterile gloves. Now I'll help you to sit up in bed. I'll put some pillows behind your head for support to make sure your head doesn't tilt forward or backwards. Now, I'm going to measure the tube from your nose to your earlobe and breastbone and add a bit extra, as I explained before. I'll just take note of the mark on the nasogastric tube, so I know how far to put in the tube. Okay, before I put in the tube I need to check that your nose is clear. Can you please sniff with one nostril closed for me and then repeat with the other side? Sure. That's great. I'm just going to lubricate the end of the tube with some warm water to help the tube go in more easily. I'll put the vomit bowl next to you so you can reach it easily in case you need it. I've also checked that the oxygen next to your bed is working as well as the bedside suction. All right. Right. I'm going to put in the tube and slide it along the floor of your nose. The tube will go to the back of your throat. If I feel any obstruction, I'll stop and try the other nostril. I know it's not pleasant, but try to swallow the tube as it passes through the back of your throat into your esophagus. I'll try. You're doing very well. I can see that the measured indicator has reached the entrance to your nostril, so I'm not going to insert the tube any further. I'm going to secure the tube to your nostril and your cheek, so it doesn't accidentally come out. Thank you. Before I use the tube, I need to check that it's in your stomach. I'll just draw out a small amount of fluid using the syringe. I'll put some fluid onto the pH indicator strip. If the tube is in your stomach the pH will be 5.5 or less which is acidic. That will confirm that the fluid is stomach fluid and the tube is correctly placed. Finally I'll put an integral cap over the end of the tube. What if it's in the wrong place? If any signs of distress are noticed such as coughing or breathlessness, the tube is removed immediately. I'll just put the used equipment, apron and gloves in the clinical waste bin and sanitize my hands. Then, I'll make sure you are comfortable. Thank you. You should also be aware that a further pH check will be done before your first feed and you may also need an x-ray to confirm the position of the tube if there is any doubt about the correct placement of the tube. 